Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find videos which are related to CAT, MAT and other management exams. This session we have a problem from geometry and mensuration. Let's see what problem is with us. So our question here is find the radius of the circle which is inscribed in a triangle with three sides 20 cm, 21 cm and 29 cm. Okay. So the question appears to be very simple. Okay. A very, basic, a very basic kind of question from geometry. So given what is given here is like you have a triangle and they are given the three sides of the triangle and inside the triangle they are going to position a circle. Okay. That is a circle is going to be inscribed inside the triangle and we need to find the radius of the circle okay this is going to be the question very simple question and we have the options okay all right yeah fine yes so whenever we have a circle inscribed in a triangle we call that circle to be in circle okay so we call it to be in circle so what is an in circle so i repeat an in circle is going to be a circle which is going to be inscribed inside a triangle this is what we call to be an in circle and the radius of the in circle is we call it to be in radius okay so since the circle's name is in circle its radius we call it as in radius okay i'll write it okay in radius so the circle's name is in circle and its radius name is in radius okay and usually it will be notated like r okay this is how it is notated okay and here our question is we need to find the value of that in radius only simple okay fine because here also we have a triangle and again this triangle what happens is like they are inscribing a circle there and we need to find the radius so that means that circle is going to be in circle and its radius is going to be in radius so no doubt we need to find what is the in radius of that circle this is all we need to find from this question okay yes yeah next point we need to know just one formula okay there's one formula which is going to be relating the triangle and the in radius of the circle in in circle so we have a formula there if we know that formula then the way of solving this question is going to be very very easy okay so let me write that formula alone here okay all right yeah i'm going to write the formula please you also take it down so using the formula is what we are going to solve the problem all right okay yeah the formula is going to be in radius r okay for any triangle inside which we have a circle whose radius that in radius r multiplied with okay r into the semi perimeter semi perimeter of the triangle okay the semi perimeter of the triangle what do you mean by semi perimeter we all know what is the perimeter of a triangle right for a triangle what do you mean by perimeter some of the three sides is what we call it to be the perimeter okay and what is the semi perimeter here it's very simple half the value of the perimeter is what we call it to be semi perimeter that's it okay so radius that is in radius multiplied with semi perimeter of the triangle is equal to the area of the triangle okay the area of the area of the triangle okay so this one formula is enough for us to solve this problem okay this is going to be very simple so once you know this once you have the knowledge of this formula then we can very easily just two or three steps we can easily get the answer okay all right yeah fine yes next is let us just see what are all the things we have in the question okay fine which are related to this formula what are all the things we have here in this question so here we need to find the in radius this r value is what we need to find okay so i'm going to write it r into what about the semi perimeter we can easily find the perimeter of our uh, triangle is it or not how we can find it very simple we have all the three sides given here in the question itself right so that means when we add all these three values that will give the perimeter yes is it or not so i'm going to take 20 plus 21 plus 29 so this will be nothing but what this will be nothing but the perimeter of the triangle but what we have in the formula we have the semi perimeter so that means this perimeter value we should divide it by 2 as i told the semi perimeter stands for what semi perimeter is nothing but half of the perimeter okay or perimeter divided by 2 okay usually the semi hemi these words are used to denote half the value right the same way here semi perimeter so i am dividing the perimeter value by 2 this is what i am doing here okay 
is equal to now coming to the right hand side right hand side what do you have we have the area of the triangle okay yes so once we are given the three sides of a triangle we can still find the area right is it or not we can use the area formula to find the area you can use these three sides in that formula we can put it there and we can find the area but hold on for a moment let us just try to see what kind of triangle is this yes i repeat let us just see we'll just take a close observation what type of triangle is given to us here in this question okay just three see yes, just see the three sides of this triangle okay we have the numbers 20 21 and 29 these are going to be the three sides can you just have a close look there what kind of numbers are here and do they possess any kind of nature any kind of property can you just check it or i can even just write it here and show you okay here we have 20 21 and 29 all right yes so just try to do this 20 square 20 square will be what it will be 400 and what about this 21 21 square this will be nothing but 441 is it or not just try to add this 20 square plus 21 square this will be nothing but 400 plus 441 which is going to be 841 and that 841 is nothing but it is no doubt it is going to be 29 square you can even check it and see so that means the sum of the squares of these two sides this first and second sides is equal to the square of the third sides so that means this triangle is going to be nothing but it is a right angle triangle is it or not so no doubt here so this 20 21 29 the sides of these three triangles that itself confirms by this Pythagoras theorem property it is going to confirm that it is a right angle triangle so why I'm just insisting this point here is once we know that this is a right angle triangle we can very easily find the area is it or not so what about area area formula we can just use half into base into height we can very easily use that right so half into what about our base and height of this triangle so what about base and what about height it's very simple we know that this is a right angle triangle just now we just observed it right since we are able to see that the three numbers are satisfying pythagoras theorem the moment it is going to satisfy pythagoras theorem we can very well confirm that it is definitely a right angle triangle and how come we find the area of a right angle triangle it's very simple see we have the three numbers out of these three numbers which one is the longest i mean the highest number the longest side of this triangle is going to be this side 29 so that means this 29 is going to be the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle so except that hypotenuse we need to take the other two sides because they are going to be what base and height of the triangle yes is it or not so they are going to be the base and height so that means we can take them to be half into base which is 20 into height which is 21 okay there's nothing wrong even if we swap the numbers okay so there's nothing wrong like uh, this is the base and this is the height we need not stick to that so it is very simple okay one of them is going to be base the other one is going to be height it's going to be very obvious okay so that means half into 20 into 21 this is what we have for the areas value okay now it's going to be very easy because the only unknown here is r right okay so r into let's just uh, continue the solving so what about this expression 20 plus 21 plus 29 okay just add all these values i think you get uh, uh, 50 plus 20 which is going to be 70 70 by 2 will be 35 so r into 35 will be equal to what about right hand side right hand side we have this uh, 2 i can just cut it with this 10 okay yes so 20 it's going to be exactly 10 times sorry 2 and 20 it's going to be 20, uh, 10 times 2 and 20 uh, 10 times so we'll have 10 into 21 this is all we have in the right hand side okay so don't multiply please don't multiply so r is equal to let me bring this multiply by 35 to this side okay so this into 35 this comes here to the right hand side it becomes 10 into 21 divided by 35 i hope you can understand this right so yeah now we can do what we can just simplify with numbers okay so here we have 21 and we have 35 here both we can cancel with seven tables so this is seven threes are 21 and this is seven fives are 35 all right and what next i can do is like i can just cut this five and ten this is exactly two times so we will be left with only two threes are okay so that means r is equal to two threes are which is going to be six centimeter okay so r is going to be six centimeter is going to be the answer for this question i hope it is very clear to you so the only thing you need to know is this formula alone okay if you know this formula you can very easily solve this and again you have other formulas also there are many approaches to find this okay there are even still uh, many other uh, shortcuts also there okay there are many approaches okay being mathematics and geometry mensuration you have different properties from each of those approaches you get uh, uh, 
different different approaches you get different approaches and you will get uh, the answer some of them will be a very easy shortcut also but that needs deep knowledge and everything okay so how deeper you are going to play with the formulas how deeper you know all formulas based on that is what the uh, you will be able to easily uh, solve the problem okay but this one is going to be a conventional way i just thought to give the solution in a conventional way for you and that's the reason i'm just uh, uh, taking this method to explain this problem okay i hope i hope you are able to understand this question and the answer is however six centimeters is going to be the answer and our answer six is going to be available in option c so option c six is going to be the answer for this question i hope you are able to understand this and if you feel that this session to be useful please give a like and also do share this video to your friends also those who are preparing for any such management exams all right okay again we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much